And here we have Sporting Cristal against Internacional. It's John Champion here at the microphone, and alongside me we have a top football analyst in Jim Beglin. Well, what a wonderful setting we've got for this game, John. The atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. Take a look then at the two teams. Hit in the face of strong opposition pressure. And he's made sure that's not getting through. Alan Patrick with the foul. And there's the first booking of the game already. have any luck with the through ball there. I timed his run brilliantly and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Rafael Moura. No, the defence alert and kicked out the danger. The through ball is intercepted. No change in that score. Nil-nil it remains. He's bursting forward. They get it clear. chance was there but the quality of the pass wasn't well he needed to be much more precise but that was very short on quality into the middle no that's not going to make it through Alan Patrick an opening for Internacional off he goes trying some good skills but ultimately unsuccessful Tries to slide it past the defence. Now it's a goal kick. The goal now would certainly liven things up. And they escape imminent danger. The keeper's got it. No, needed a better ball there. Well, if he wants to do something, he'll have to do it alone. Play surges forward. Just the keeper to beat. 
half time is now upon us. So it's nil nil. Let's hope for a goal or two in the second half. So the second half gets underway. Defending in numbers here. Oh, good challenge, and he's got it back. And that's not getting through. Alan Patrick. Trouble looming, but he's able to cut it out. Here's Alex. Well underway in the second half and it's still goalless. Alan Patrick hasn't really been given much freedom today. Well, it looks like he's been the one who's targeted as the danger man here, and as a consequence, he's getting the special attention. They're getting players around him quickly, they're giving him nowhere to go. And uh, I think pretty soon he could be getting frustrated with this. So, how will they work this one? He's not taking any risks there. He's going on his own. He makes his way towards the penalty area. Only the keeper to beat. Can he now find a finish? They can try again. A fine reaction save. The keeper just about got enough of that. Now it's a corner. Goalkeeper making his feelings felt in no uncertain terms. Well, quite frankly, his defence just didn't do its job then and, and left him totally exposed. I think he's quite right to be upset about that. It's not good enough and, and they ought to be told. Could be a goal here. A volley. That is way off. Well, he knew exactly what he wanted to do before the ball even arrived, and that made the chance far easier. He read it before any defender. And we are still awaiting a breakthrough here. The idea was there. Execution wasn't. Going forward. Looking to exploit the space. The flag stays down. And no danger there from that cross. Spooned forward. Some dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. Tried to play it through. Alan Patrick. Good through ball. And he makes absolutely no mistake. That was a teasing finish. I just thought he was alert and direct. There was no messing about. He was too quick for the keeper, and that's a fine finish. So we start again at 1-0. Look, I just think they've kept at it and got their reward. Now they need to hang on to it. Sporting Cristal really in desperate trouble here. They've just got to get the ball into the box and hope. Wellington Paulista tried to play it through. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. A foul and a free kick's been given.
The clock counting down. Through and still going. D'Alessandro. A really impressive run through. So that's it. It's all over. It all came down to that one slip up at the back. And sometimes that's what decides football matches. I think some of the players are going to be a bit sore after that. There was so much passion and commitment out there. I can't remember anyone shirking the tackle. Thank you, Jim. That's it for today's game.